Recently, articles have reported that legendary Lord of the Rings franchise director Peter Jackson is possibly going to do a DC movie. He's choosing between that or doing a Lord of the Rings show for Amazon that apparently is going to get an insanely high budget, if that's true, like a lot of money. And that would make sense because the Lord of the Rings is epic high fantasy, right? You know, with like all this, like, you know, I think, you know, with all this magic and mysticism and, you know, huge battle scenes in it. And they probably want to hire some pretty prominent actors to be in it. So it's going to need some money. But if Peter Jackson does not do his own Lord of the Rings, if he's like, you know, look, I've done like a bunch of these movies, made all this money, I'm tired, I want to move on to something else. And he does DC. Here are four movies I think he could be doing given his aesthetic and sensibilities in history. In no particular order, I know one to four people are always thinking one is the most likely or four is the most likely, least likely. And that's not how it is with this list. It's just a list. Somebody has to go first. Somebody has to go last. So here we go. Number one, Green Lantern Corps, right? Now, Peter Jackson is, I think, one of modern days, maybe throughout all cinema history's most famous epic fantasy, you know, sword and sorcery directors. And the Green Lantern Corps, you know, with all of these space, you know, warriors with powers and there's different color spectrums fighting each other and fighting other people who have nothing to do with, you know, rings that's epic high fantasy in space i think peter jackson's aesthetic you know his visual tastes and his you know ability to handle you know epic you know drawn out long stuff it could be great for that and he would be a good choice because the first green lantern movie that came out i think in 2010 or 2011 starring ryan, ryan reynolds is hal jordan the green lantern that failed and there's a stink on that movie on the green lantern character because any Green Lantern movie they do now, they're going to be like, well, I hope it's better than the last one. You know, that reputation is still going to be there. But a way to cancel it out is to hire a beloved, very successful director to helm the franchise, which could shut a lot of people up. And I think Peter Jackson is one of those people. Number two, Justice League Dark. Now, there have been multiple directors attached to Justice League Dark. I think Guillermo del Toro was supposed to do it. And then I think Doug Liman was supposed to do it. Now, Guillermo del Toro is a famous Oscar-winning director, and Doug Liman did Edge of Tomorrow and some other interesting movies, but I don't think either of them are associated with this movie anymore, and I think this movie's in development limbo. But Justice League Dark is about a bunch of magic-using DC superheroes. Well, they're not all superheroes, but crime fighters getting together to fight magical menaces. We have people like John Constantine, Zatanna, Swamp Thing, I think the Enchantress, although she's associated with Suicide Squad now, people like that, Dead Man. And I think you could put characters like Dr. Fate, you know, the Phantom Stranger. There's a lot of people. DC has a lot of magic-using characters who could show up in this movie as members of the team and potential villains for people to fight. So someone who has experience, you know, directing big movies with magic and mysticism could be a great fit for this. Number three, The Legion of Superheroes. This one is a stretch because I don't think we've heard any news about DC about that I know of, have wanting to do a Legion of Superheroes movie. For those of you who don't know, the Legion of Superheroes is a team of DC superheroes who take place very far in the future, like in the 30th century or something, and it's usually mostly teenage superheroes from different worlds, different planets, and different areas of space who have powers, and they get together to join this massive super team. Like, Legion of Superheroes has, like, dozens of members, and it's, like, cosmic space, epic, you know, stuff like that with all kinds of members. And Peter Jackson is someone who could handle that if DC ever was like, you know what, let's do a Legion of Superheroes movie. Number four, the Justice Society. The Justice Society is basically like the 1940s Justice League. That's the best way to put them. Now, we know that they're doing a Black Hawk movie. Black Hawk is apparently that Steven Spielberg is producing. It's taking place in the 40s. It's about, you know, these old 1940s World War II pilots getting involved in these weird sci-fi you know, and also Supernatural Adventures, which is what happened in the Black Hawk comics. But since they're going, if that means that DC is establishing a 1940s sci-fi fantasy property, do you know who else was in DC Comics in the 40s? The Justice Society. You know, people like the Golden Age Flash, Green Lantern, um, all these other characters, Wildcat, uh, Dr. Fate, I just mentioned Dr. Fate, but he is from that era, Our Man, all these other people if they ever want to do a Justice Society movie, maybe, you know, they could get Peter Jackson to do it. Now, I know that Justice Society isn't exactly epic, you know, high fantasy, but, you know, it's a group of people, and it's a group of people doing, you know, amazing thing. 
And Peter Jackson's a director who handles groups of people doing amazing things. So maybe he could do it. So what do you think? Do you think that Peter Jackson would be a good fit for any of these movies? Which one? I think most people would probably say it would be Green Lantern Corps. But I think he could handle any of these other movies too. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.